I'll never get this camera position right. Can you close the windows? What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel and happy new year. I know it's late. It's like two weeks late. A week late. Yeah, it's about two weeks late. But happy new year guys and happy 2019. And welcome back to my channel. If you're new year, welcome to Hinky Pinks. And the first video of 2019. This marks the one year anniversary of my channel. So one year ago today I uploaded my very first video last year which is why 2018 was a pretty it was a pretty different year for me. So happy one year to Hinky Pinks and happy 2019 to you guys and thank you guys for all the support in the one year so far of this channel i think in my opinion i feel like this channel has grown quite a bit and i've had a lot of fun and i'm looking forward to many more videos on this channel anyways so in today's video i'm going to be doing a full face of makeup obviously i can't really do half the face but i'm going to be doing um just casual get ready with me makeup but i'm going to be using all the products that i listed in my top 2018 makeup list which is up on my blog right now so i will link it down below and i'll pop it up somewhere here on the top for you guys to go check that out so you guys can see what my favorite products were some were high-end some were drugstore products and i explained why i like them and stuff like that you gotta excuse me my nose is itchy and Without uh, further ado, let's jump straight into this video. I'm going to start off with my primer as usual, as usual. But I'm actually going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Baking Oil first. This wasn't on my favorites list, but it is a pretty good baking oil or hydration oil for your skin. I don't know why I didn't put this on my favorites list. I should have put this on my favorites list. But I'm just going to add a little bit that of this to my dry patches on my skin because I am wearing a matte foundation today um, because I've been on a new medication for my skin because I'm sure you guys would have seen in some previous videos that my skin just broke out and didn't fix itself um, towards the end of last year so I went on some medication to fix that and it really does dry my skin out. So I'm gonna put some of this on in the areas where my skin is pretty darn dry which is mostly like my nose and my eyeballs but yeah okay um for the first uh, thing that you should be doing when you do your makeup is primer <laughs> i'm gonna go in with the fancy beauty fancy beauty pro filter instant retouch primer i fell in love with this primer the first time i used it I usually do my eyebrows first, but today I'm going to do the foundation first because I'm not going to wear a lot of it. I'm just going to wear like enough of it, I guess. And um, the other, and the foundation that was my definitely top, top, top 2018 favorite was the Fenty Beauty um, foundation. I'm going to, instead of applying my foundation and concealer today with a beauty blender, I have been using a brush. So this is the Morphe M. 439 brush and for concealer I use the Morphe M536 brush and I hated using brushes on my skin for foundation before but I don't have a problem with these ones. So yeah 2018. 2018 was the year that I started my channel or decided to like start upload a video to this channel and uh hinky pinks kicked off from there so yeah i kind of got a bit more involved in like the blogging community it was the final year of my degree i graduate in a few months now it was the year that we moved to this apartment uh what else a lot happened in 2018 i wouldn't say it was a bad year but i also wouldn't say it was like the best year ever to be honest okay so as usual my foundation never really matches like my forehead the foundation always matches this half of my face but never the top half just because i have some discoloration going on so that is foundation now i'm going to move into my brows real quickly and i'm going to skip to when i have my brows on because we all know it doesn't take like like 15 seconds for me to fill in my brows but um i always used to use the pomade pencil and now i've moved to a little pot pomade 
with a brush which takes much longer obviously but it's nice it's nice this is the Ilya brow pomade in number 10 dark brown um, I think I start that's not gonna focus so I'm just gonna leave it so let me just fill in my brows real quick and I'll be right back with some eyebrows we are back with some brows so I do realize that they look really really dark and they're not even but I cannot be the only person who has one eyebrow that just just looks normal and one eyebrow that is trying to be like a potato in life and now I'm going to uh, I'm gonna conceal and I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer super covered and they mean super coverage seriously I just take a brief moment to um, scratch my nose I'm just gonna go and set uh, my concealer quickly with a little bit of powder. This powder isn't on my favorites list, but it is the only like setting powder that I have. It's not bad. It's the BYS Translucent Loose Powder. So now I'm going to move on to my eyes. And for my eyes, I'm using, and something that I have been using like almost every day is the Give It To Me Straight Palette by Colourpop. Um, the burgundies, the brownish colors like only ones I use so I'm gonna use that today I'm going to go in with matter of fact first to um, just sit okay all set so now I think I'm gonna go in with uh, truth hurts which is a bit of a darker this one over here I'm gonna go in with that one. Now I'm going to go in with a angled brush, which I basically use as another blending brush because I do not have another blending brush. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna cut my crease a little bit in the middle. Okay, so I've cut my crease in the middle. It's not like a maze balls. Now I'm gonna go in with I can okay these these shimmers in this palette is like insane. I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm going to put um, I'm gonna put candid on my lid, just like that. Whoa, that is pretty. Now I'm gonna take a bit of that up front, which is the goldish color, and I'm just gonna tap it over it so it's brightened a little bit. Now for my inner corners, I'm going to use candid, which was a really beautiful gold color. So that is my one eye. I'm going to go and do the other eye real quickly and we'll cut to the rest of my face. Okay, and there we go. So that is my eyes done and this light is on. That's why it looks weird. I'm going to do some top uh, wing liner and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Feline Flick. I don't usually like eyeliners that are a marker like this but this is the first one I've used that I actually really enjoyed and felt that I don't really need to go over it with a normal liquid liner for it to be dark enough so and the, the little tip is really nice so I'm just gonna do a really quick flick that is a liner done wing liner done i'm now gonna go in with the benefit roller lash mascara and this is still my favorite and this is still the little travel size so now i'm going to this light is on sorry all right um i'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face and i'm using my benefit hula bronzer also the little travel or sample size which has also still been lasting me really, really, really long. So.
For blush, I'm going to use the BYS Contour Trio and I'm going to use the blush because it's a bit of a dark but it doesn't come out so dark on your skin which I like. Highlighter, I'm going to use the Colourpop Super Shock Cheek in Hippo. This is a bit of a purplish tint. And I'm going to go ahead and add that on because I fell in love with Colourpop's highlighters. For lips, I'm going to use the Sephora Liquid Matte Lipstick. I honestly don't know what the colour this is. It's number 84. So that is the finished look for today guys and oh my highlighter I love this highlighter anyway so that was a full face of me using all my top favorite makeup from 2018 make sure you guys go check out that blog post which has a list of all other types all other makeup besides the ones that I used today but I just chose to use these today because I like these so I am looking forward to 2019 I don't know why I keep doing this, but I really am looking forward to 2019. It's going to be a completely different year. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys, and follow all my social medias. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you guys are notified whenever I post a new video. And with that, I hope you guys have an awesome week. And I'll see you guys all next week in my next video. Adios, amigos. Bye.